Hey guys, Quinn, Elegance on 18 Wheels Magazine. Hey, we're back in the office here, but we just got done shooting a beautiful rig with a beautiful theme. And it took us about a year to get this one done, but it's been so cool to actually see how this truck came from start to finish. And the new, the actual theme of this truck is with the Buffalo Bills. And um, <laughs> it's so cool to uh, see what all the stuff you're about to see in this truck. But I'm not gonna spoil it for you. I'm gonna get out of the way. I gotta finish checking out the new calendar we just uh, released. And I'm gonna get out of the way and let you guys check this episode out. But when you get back, you guys gotta stop by and let me know what you think. I'll see you at the end of the episode. Take care, guys. Guys, we're gonna be coming back down here to look at this one. This one actually has got a beautiful sleeper on it and it's gonna have a beautiful theme to it. So I'm gonna get some before and definitely during and after shots of this. But I'm gonna give you an example. I've never showed you guys how it actually looks when it gets to ARI, but this is how it looks. It's ready for the sleeper to be gone. And this is all the wheelbase that's waiting to add the beautiful sleeper to it. And as you can tell, it's gonna be a big unit, so. This is gonna be a killer truck, once, and we're gonna be following this one. So like I said, this is just the beginning of, of the presentation of this truck. Stay tuned. Dominique, we're getting ready to shoot this big boy that um, that was really, really cool. That's, we're about to go in the paint booth, and I'm, I'm a little nervous, man, but <laughs> tell me about this one. It's a, it's a you know, first chance that we've gotten to do this, so at this point, um, because this one is so tall, we ended up having to paint the roof separately because we had to paint it in a different area. So the roof has been covered, painted, cleared, and covered. 
so far they got base coat on it. Uh-huh. Uh, we've done the final on the base coat. It's tacked. It's ready to start clearing. And our painters just suited up, got their masks on, and, and they're getting ready to start spraying. They're going to put the shiny on it. Then let's go watch then. Let's go. All right.
I'm Quinn McClinton, and you're watching Elegance on 18 Wheels Big Rig Spotlight. Oh my goodness, guys, we have hit the jackpot once again. I'm down here at CRS Customs, and the car guys have got this beautiful Peterbilt sitting right here. And guess who I've got to spotlight to talk about this? One and only, Dominique. What's up, buddy? Thanks for coming down, Quinn. I appreciate it. Oh my goodness, Dominique. You don't have to, man, <laughs> you, know, you don't have to beg me hard with this one. This we've been watching since uh, we had it sitting in the field. Yeah. It, when we walk around this thing, <laughs> oh my goodness, man, when we walk around, the audience is going to lose their mind. Uh -huh. Please and introduce me to, <laughs> <laughs> please introduce me to what you guys have done with this. Okay, so, so far, um, it's been through Nationwide Chrome and Custom, which mm -hmm. we just got to introduce you to with uh, Barb and Lane Backner. Yes, um, yes. He helped us out getting a very large, very heavy herd guard on there, uh, changed out <laughs> some headlights, added stainless added more stainless, added a turbo wing. Uh, then we got it down here to Car Guys. Car Guys started doing the correction. Road skins graphics, has already got the graphics on it. And then uh, now they're they're working on applying the second layer of coating to it. Oh my so goodness. We're, we're just about done through this side of the process. And uh, we got some more vinyl to put on and then the lights come. Dominique, man, this is unbelievable. The Buffalo Bills logo on a beautiful Peterbilt, man. Yep, yep. This, this is, is uh, this is a killer truck, man. I, it I is. can't stop looking at it. <laughs> and this is the unit that actually has the jacuzzi and all that other good it stuff is. in it, right? It is. The, the one and only. <laughs> and the, guys, if you don't remember, we as you've seen in the steps in this this whole video, we this is the one we had in the paint booth, and Dominic uh, took mm -hmm. us through the paint process. Yeah. Uh, we went through the the actual sleeper bill. It's almost done, huh, Dominic? It's almost done, and I think uh, we're, we're all itching for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dominic, tell me what these guys are doing right here. So, right now, they've already put a, a one layer of ceramic coating on it. Okay. And it, for the additional protection, they, they always put a second layer. You know, trucks go through, through a lot. Mm -hmm. So, that's what they're working on right now, applying and leveling. And then that fancy contraption over there is what they're going to use to cure the coating. Oh, wow. So now, did they do the graphics? Because everybody's going to know, did they put the graphics on? Road Skins actually did. And that's the, that's the great thing about the, the great team that we have going on right now is that we had to coordinate it between car guys doing the correction prior to the coating so that when he put the graphics on it, they weren't trying to work around the graphics for the, the correction process. Gotcha. Then after the graphics go on, that's when they start throwing coating to give the vinyl protection with the coating as well. Mm -hmm. And vinyl just doesn't like ceramic coating very much when you put gotcha. it on top of it. Gotcha. So, you know, we, we got a great team that knows how to work together and time everything just right. And it looks absolutely beautiful. And uh, as you can tell, this is all done by hand and, and not just saying, but you can throw, throw coating on it and have it looking right. But I see. these guys do it. <laughs> one, Dominique. Two. Man, we had a whole new level with this one, man. <laughs> Yeah, Tell me what uh, the I see the young man. What 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 is going on with this this big piece over the fenders here? What is, so what is he's, this one? He's finishing up the cleanup and correction on the backside so that we can get this last graphic that goes on the rear wall here. Um, oh, there's wow. a few other miscellaneous uh, lettering and whatnot. We also mm -hmm. gotta get these fenders wrapped too. They're not gonna stay this way. Oh really? And what's with this big heat lamp that's right here? So Max over there, he's looking over over the. Uh, leveling of the ceramic coating that they just did down on that end and then mm -hmm. this light over here is curing the ceramic coating so it gets it nice and rock hard that's uh, wow. where your protection comes from wow okay so once this is all done where do we go from here from here that's when it's going to be ready for to finish the light accessories as you can see we've already gotten some of the light accessories done there's the blue glowing in the air cans uh, but we are going to be putting underglow on it we're also going to be putting uh, lights behind the stacks mm -hmm. and some cameras and some of the other accessories that auto obsessions helps me out with wow and then we got an extra special grill that nationwide chroma custom is going to be putting on it once it comes in this is going to be killer it is i cannot wait i oh cannot wait oh my goodness 
That's and why I keep dragging you out here, man. Okay, I'm ready to showcase <laughs> this thing. <laughs> and it is going to be an absolute winner. We're going to knock eyes out of people's heads with mm -hmm. this one. We are. Oh, this is going to be killer. And of course, you know, the, the build the air I did on this, it's, it's phenomenal. Um, just wait till you guys get to see the inside. <laughs> oh, it's going to be. Oh, if it's anything like the outside, <laughs> they're going to go crazy. It is. It is. Let me promise you that. Then Dominique, we're going to walk around and look at it a little bit more in depth. Let's and then it. we'll look for the next stage. We'll be ready for it. All right. Dominic, man, okay, you just showed me this beast and I walked around and once again, Colin, you man, you guys have got to tell me how in the world you got it to this point, man. What did it really take? Well, lots of, lots of hours, lots of coordinating. Um, six months ago when I saw this frame and cab get delivered into this parking lot, um, I had no idea it was going to end up looking like this. I just <laughs> knew, I, you know, they do a lot of trucks and I, I knew that it was going to look beautiful at the end of the day, but I didn't know it was going to look like this. Um, and essentially we started with a clean slate, um, started with a vehicle that was a cab and a chassis. We got it in our wash bay over here and got all the dirt and the mud and everything off of it. I remember it was particularly mm -hmm. dirty. Yep. Um, they get pig piggybacked over there, so they, yeah. they get a lot of stuff on them. It was <laughs> filthy. It was very filthy. And we scrubbed all the crevices and acid washed the whole chassis to get all the dirt and debris off. Um, and once we got through the, the cleaning stage, it came over here. Uh, and we applied our ceramic coating to everything that you could touch. So any, anything in the wheel wells, the engine bay, uh, back in the, where the axles are, uh, went all the way through around everything and coated everything uh, in preparation for this, uh, for the box to be put on months later. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've since completed a paint correction over the entire cabin chassis and the entire body of the, of the rig, uh, removing all the scratches, swirls, um, all the production um, defects that you're going to get from sanding the paint and getting it level and smooth, we remove all of that okay. uh, and get it to a point where um, it has a nice gloss, doesn't have any haze in it, and then once it's perfect, and once we've go over, gone over the entire painted chassis uh, and body, then we apply our ceramic coating to seal it in. So, so how, hand. How, how, <laughs> how many days did it actually take you to ceramic this monster of a job? Probably three days. At least three to just days. apply the coating and to cure it properly. Uh, it was three days, and then it was another two days of correction. So removing the scratches, the standing marks, the haze, um, and anything from the truck just sitting. You know, sometimes you get bird droppings the size of yeah. uh, quarters all <laughs> over the truck. So yeah. remove all that. So wow! Once again, Colin, it, it you did a stunning job, man. My hats off to you, and Dominique. We almost ready to roll her out, right? Almost, and I couldn't do it without these guys. Awesome. Guys, we'll be right back, and we're gonna be doing, we're gonna see this bad boy out in the sun real soon. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll Thanks, see you in a Awesome, that was good. <laughs> Very good. So 
told you it was gonna be cool. I'm really, I'm still amazed at actually seeing how this all came together. But there's so many more steps to go before we get this baby rolled out. But we saw it being delivered, but nothing but the bare frame. We saw ARI's sleeper on the floor. We saw it being delivered to CRS and having Dominique paint all the goodies and get the, the bright red that it is now. We even saw how old Brad, the car guy, that they took and put all the decals and the ceramic coating and everything on it. Well, now there's some more steps that's got to come to it. And I think it's some specialized lighting or something like that coming from Auto Obsessions. Let's take a look at it. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, man, you, you, you got me down here, man, and I'm, I'm over here in this, this auto section, man, uh, a bunch of lights and stuff over here, man. What's going on with this? So, obviously, you're down here already when we're getting ceramic coating and everything put on the graphics, yep. and uh, the, this this uh, this truck's getting better and better. Man. So, uh, this is the accessory shop. Okay. We're getting the lights put on it right now. Uh, most of them are most of the way done. Okay. And we're getting the cameras. And then we're putting some ceramic uh, window tint on it to, you know, get a little heat protection going on. Oh, wow. So, you got me down here. What, 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 what's going on? Well, why don't you turn around and we'll check it out. Okay, let's look at this. Woo! Buddy, look at this. <laughs> She's got glow now. Man. You know, as this thing comes together, you know, there's always that, the missing pieces. Right? Yes. Yeah, this was one of the missing pieces. And tell me about this. This, this. What is this process we got? Well, I'm going to let the, the smarter man tell you a little bit about it. So Brad over here from Auto Obsessions, he's the, the wiring guru. Most of what he talks about, I don't even know. So <laughs> it's his game, not mine. <laughs> What's up, Brad? How you doing? Hey, man, I'm, I'm doing great now. To uh, finish up this project, a uh, couple weeks going on here, and uh, we got a lot of lights, cameras, and maybe some action going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, uh, yeah, so um, I'm Brad. I'm the owner of Auto Obsessions here in uh, Osceola. Uh, we partner with uh, CRS, ARI, um, and uh, um, Car Guys, Car Auto guys, Obsessions, Auto, Nationwide yeah, Chrome. Nationwide Wait. Chrome. The uh, team's okay. getting too big. We've got <laughs> so many other people involved, and we step uh, all the perfect A team uh, for sure. So, um, but basically, with this, we were given the task of make this thing lit up. Uh, we right. want to light it up as much as we can. Uh, we do things completely different than most other people. Uh, so we want, we're glad we had the opportunity here to uh, set an example for what may be the new era on the, uh, the lighting aspect. Um, so we've got lights going on. We've got cameras. Uh, when we do cameras, we are really focused on the safety and convenience of the drivers as well. Right. Uh, and then also capturing a lot of video uh, for playback in the future. Um, as cars try to start driving themselves, we want to protect our semis uh, from those incidents where they, uh, they might not see something so big on the streets. So, yeah, I know, right? Uh, but, uh, so yeah, let me, uh, let me kind of tell you what we got going on here. Okay. We got, this is going to be our ceramic film. Um, so the ceramic film that we use is going to be our Lumar Formula One Stratus film. Okay. Uh, the biggest thing with window tint is being DOT legal. Gotcha. Uh, we can't go too dark, but in order to block out that heat, a lot of people think that they need to use a dark film. They need okay. to use a black film. Well, then you've got vision impairment, you can't see, and then we got obviously the, the regulations with DOT. Right. Uh, so with our Lumar Stratus film, uh, DOT legal, 70%, it blocks out the most heat that you can possibly get without having any type of visual impairment. You can take these side windows, they'll look exactly like they look right now, okay. but they'll have the most heat rejection that you can get on, a, on the window film in the clear aspect. So, so brother, this beautiful glow going on here, and um, man, what, what, what actually powers all this, man? How do you, how yeah. do you get this, this thing to actually do so, work the magic? We've got, uh, I think over 70 feet um, RGB strips um, close to that just because we have to modify some. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of current draw on these. Uh, and then we've got obviously the ability to select the color. So what we use, um, we keep everything completely isolated uh, from the semi. So we've got something like this, uh, which is uh, all internally fused, high current uh, capacity. We use this, separates the circuits from the vehicle so that if we have anything that's going on with our RGB strips or our cameras that we're adding, uh, we can then locate that circuit that it's on. Whereas, you know, a lot of these guys, they will tap into a random circuit and it'll make things stop working in the semi uh -huh. uh, or car or whatever you, you would like. 
uh, and then you got to then tra you know, tra track that down. And uh, whereas we know if our RGB strips stop working, we have a circuit that each one of those strips is on that's fused and then protects anything else in the semi. Oh, Brad, we're looking at all this glow you got on it, <laughs> man. And uh, I mean, it's from nose to stern of this thing, but yeah. how would it look at, at night? Well, that's easy. I can, I can show you that pretty easily. Okay. Here we are. Bam. Bam. Look at that, guys. <laughs> so we've got, uh, we've got a bunch of LED strips here. We choose strips because uh, it adds a even pattern throughout every step, through the chrome, through the underneath. Uh, as you get with uh, lower uh, side skirted sleepers, when you start using pods or certain types of LEDs with rain, water, you start seeing all those individual LEDs. Okay. You start seeing all that little aspect. We use a specific LED strip that has a frosted lens on it. There are 60 uh, LEDs per meter. Uh, most of your LED strips are 30 LEDs per meter. So there's a lot of brightness within one meter. Uh, very clean, crisp lines, especially when you get a lot of chrome. Uh, <laughs> and then with same thing with the steps, we've got another bar underneath the steps. We got another bar underneath well, this. On here, we've got this step. We put this LED in here so that you can kind of have this illuminated step so that you can see when you start going on to the step where the step ends and begins. Right. Step here will just kind of pull out. And so you've got the RGB strip, the blue strip um, right now underneath and it just kind of lights that step up as wow. well. So um, this is broken into a section just because we do have some things we need to jog around. Strips are mounted in a custom aluminum channel. Uh, all okay. the aluminum channels are then screwed to the vehicle. So behind here, we actually remove this, screw our aluminum channel up, uh, and then everything that's around any type of exhaust, we wrap with loom and then we wrap with a heat transfer tape. Uh, okay. So that way that if there's any exhaust going on, we're not worried about our wires melting uh, or damaging anything within uh, the wire itself. Uh, causing any you know melting or anything like that. We do have uh, some aluminum channels actually going to be getting painted uh, mm -hmm. for this one, the same same color as the chassis because uh, the whole frame and everything's painted blue. Uh, we are, took our aluminum channels to the paint department over at CRS and they're actually going to be painting them to match the, the whole chassis so that when our LED is in it, you don't see the LED, it's going to shine down and it's going to be painted the same uh, you know, colors. Let, let the people know how they can uh, get in contact with you, man, in case they need to get something like this done to their yeah. car or truck. So really, uh, we, uh, we're actually redesigning our website. We have a full functioning website right now, uh, but we do have a quote request uh, on our website. If okay. you go to it, which is uh, www.anautoobsession.com, okay. you can go right to that website. All of our contact information is there. That's going to be the easiest, fastest, and uh, uh, most reliable way to contact us. Our phones are always ringing throughout the day. And uh, we do also do text, so you can text us. Uh, but the good thing about using that quote request form is that you can upload any pictures and any ideas, any product information, link, uh, everything, and then goes into our quoting system. Mm -hmm. It allows us to easier send everything back. Whereas if you call us, you text us, then we got to transfer all that information into our quoting software. And it's just much easier that way. So Brad, about how much, how much more time do you have on this before we actually roll this out for the final shoot? Man, you know, I swear, because every time I come into work, Dominic's usually standing at my door and saying, hey, I got another one for you. So <laughs> I'm hoping we have just about another week on it, because as you can see, my shop's not super big yet. Um, <laughs> so it's taking up a lot of space. And uh, so I'm hoping to have it done within the next week and we can get this thing on the road. <laughs> Man, thank you for giving me the tour no of the shop and uh, letting the audience know that this is an, a true obsession with you, and yeah, I understand absolutely. the name now. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. All right. Have a good
Hey guys, what's up? It's Quinn, Elegance and 18 Wheels Magazine. Well, I'm down here again, bugging the guys down here at ARI, but we followed this rig that's behind me from the time it rolled in here. It had nothing on it but a frame, and we have been following this for about 12 months now, watching this whole thing come together. Well, she's done, and I'm here to bring you this exclusive footage on looking at this new Buffalo Bills, beautiful Peterville theme truck that has just got done and we're gonna walk outside, we're gonna look at it from the outside all the way to the inside. And once again, I'm down here to spotlight my buddy, Anthony Reese, and he's gonna be the one to do this beautiful intro for this particular truck. So when we come back, I'm gonna have Anthony right over here with me and we're gonna look at this Buffalo Bills, beautiful Peterbilt. All right guys, we'll see you in a little bit. I'm Quinn McClinton and you're watching Elegance on 18 Wheels. Big Rig Spotlight. Well guys, we're back. I told you we were gonna get coming back and we're gonna have Anthony come over and we're gonna uh, do this interior walk around in this truck and I'm gonna show you some of the coolest stuff, man, in the trucking industry right now. But, but first off, Anthony Reeves. Come on over, buddy. <laughs> we got it done, man. Finally, finally, finally. It, it is a marvel to be look reckoned with. So we're gonna take this opportunity and you're gonna show me how you came around and, and all the magistry that you put into this one, just like we did with that, the Tim's truck that we had a couple of weeks ago. Oh yeah. This is gonna be a really cool unit to look at. How about we go over and take a look at this one? Yes, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> hey Quinn, come on inside. All right. Let me introduce you to a super custom rig from ARI. All right. This I've been waiting on. Oh my goodness. Will you look at that? <laughs> Anthony, oh my goodness. This is the legendary jacuzzi truck that everybody's been wanting to see and read about, right? Yes, sir. Then Anthony, let's start in the cab. And you can kind of introduce me to some of the stuff that you actually did with this unit and, and get it to this point. Um, so inside the cab, we put the same Leno that's in the sleeper so it matches. Mm -hmm. Ron wanted that, the customer wanted that uh, antique, same look that he had in here, the kind of Western with the leather. Um, here we did the curtain and left it rough cut. Mm -hmm. So he still has the hide. These are um, actually Buffalo hides. So this is all leather interior. Wow. Um, Ron did his uh, custom refrigerator. This is customer supplied, customer supplied microwave. Mm -hmm. So when we're doing a custom build, we don't have to use our appliances. The customer can supply them. Okay. Um, going through here, all Buffalo hide. Uh, we went with the black cabinets to stand off on the, the uh, tan leather. This color is just one of our basic colors. Um, these we actually use in our pre-engineered sleepers. Okay. Um, so he didn't want to go with anything too crazy with that. Uh, black cabinets to make the leather stand out. Mm -hmm. You get back here, this was the customer's idea. Um, he wanted his TV up top, fireplace from his old sleeper. Wanted it built in, did the audio video cabinet with backlighting blue light. Mm. Got a little bit of storage for water. Um, food, or, you know, whatever he wants to put in there. Mm -hmm. We had to get a little creative with this one. Normally we put the electronics, the electrical components under the dinette where we didn't have one. So okay. the electrical components are in this back corner. Very easy accessible for him if he needs to get to anything. Mm -hmm. um, as you can probably see in, in the film, there's LED lights everywhere on the top, the bottom. Um, I've got a dimmer switch set up back here for him. He has some football memorabilia okay. that's going to sit here. He can actually dim the light down on it, you know, oh, brighten wow. it up. Wow. Um, huge wardrobe here. Over here, this doesn't look as big, but it is as big because it goes back in. Oh, okay. Uh, that's a closet space there? Closet space. Okay. Uh, he actually got a full 80 inch bed. Um, it's 54 by 80. Normally they're 54 by 75 or 44 by 75, but that's the way we had to do it to get it in here. And, and then the, this beast here. <laughs> uh, the one thing everybody's been wanting to see. Yeah, I was, I'll be honest with you, Quinn, and 
I was pretty hesitant on this uh -huh. um, when it came to me. You know, anything different, this different, um, was kind of scary, to be honest with you, it was. Um, but this build with, with Ron Brogan has been phenomenal. Um, we bounced stuff off of each other, uh, made some changes, and I think it turned out great. Um, you know, it's it's definitely custom, and it's it's totally different than any build that we've seen at ARI. Um, so, I, I, Anthony, I, and, and it is absolutely unbelievable, man. And it's got its own water supply and uh, storage and everything else. Yep. I know that I know everybody's gonna wonder how does he let the bed down and what happens when he let the bed down. Could you show them how, yeah, so how it actually comes down? Here's this tub. All he does reach over here. There's a little switch. Pops it loose. Mattress kind of is tied in there, but the head comes down over the hot tub. Wow. And that's it. Look at that. Look at that. And you still got plenty of room to move around and, oh, yeah. and get in and out of the, 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 the truck and bed and everything. And Oh, yeah. I wow. mean, it's tight when you're getting up, at, you know, if he's sleeping at night and gets up. But this bed, don't. it's not going to be down all the time anyway. Uh, it's going to be up. Um, yeah, so. Now, one thing I've noticed, man, you and I are pretty tall guys. And uh, it looks like we've got a lot of headroom here, right? Yeah, Quinn, I'm, <laughs> a, I'm six five. I got an eight foot reach. <laughs> And I can't reach the ceiling. Um, so the front of the sleeper is 100 inches. Uh -huh. The back is 112. Oh, my goodness. Um, we were actually, it started out at 116, but we were too tall for DOT regulations, so we had to dial it back down just a little bit. So we're right at that 13.6 at the top of this, yeah. this the sleeper. Unit. Yeah, he has about five to six inches to spare. Wow. He, he's close. We had to put all the roof components on that front step down, mm -hmm. or he would have been over his height. And what's with the the, the overhead mirror there? What's what? Uh, that's a little little something I threw at Ron. Said, "Hey, you want to?" He wanted a light up there, mm -hmm. and I said, "Man, it's a Bill's truck. It's a Buffalo truck. It's football. Yeah, <laughs> uh, nothing else could work there but a football <laughs> mirrored light. Exactly. Um, so I got with the engineers. Said, "Hey, this is what I want to do." This is what they came up with. Um, did the laces in wood and then wrapped it with uh, LED light strip lights. Mm -hmm. That way, you, you know, it kind of, you kind of see the laces in there. Yeah. So it turned out pretty cool. <laughs> it was, it was unique and different. And this is absolutely astonishing. So we'll go ahead and uh, show them how to, I would let back up. Oh, uh, just grab a hold of it, push up. And then it'll go back and catch on this clip. Done. Wow. So, Anthony, explain the, the jacuzzi part of this. Um, of course, this would only be in operation when the truck is stationary. Correct. Um, and where would the water supply be? What, how, how, how heavy are we looking at? With, or how many gallons of water would it take to enjoy this tub? Okay, so this truck can hold right at 140 gallons okay it's got a 100 gallon tank outside 34 gallon tank in the back and then by the time the water lines and, and the hot water heater is full um this can be filled up either by the 100 gallon tank outside mm -hmm. or it has an rv connection to where he can hook a garden hose up to it and fill mm -hmm. straight from garden hose oh, just wow. like an rv okay so you wouldn't have to have that extra water um one thing that's a kind of a this was not easy there was okay. a lot of complications with this. I can see. It's not just putting a hot tub in it and going. Mm -hmm. So my concern was you have a five gallon electric water heater. You put that in here, you got 70 gallons of water to fill this up. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take forever to, for it to get hot. Exactly. So we went with a uh, aqua source. It's basically an instant hot water heater. Um, it uses uh, antifreeze, almost like a heater core in a car mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. heats it up. So that way it's instant hot water coming in, the hot water coming out of the tank or the um, hose goes through that and it comes in hot. And, this, by, and by this being a tub, this this is a free drain. This can run right out onto the... Correct, that's the way it is hooked okay. up to just drain out on the ground when he's done. Mm -hmm. It just goes straight to the ground. Um, kind of a concern we had with this is it does have a heater, mm -hmm. but it's not enough to heat cold water. It's, it's actually a maintainer 
it maintains the heat temperature once it's uh, at that. So that's okay. why we had to go with a different water heater. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So, yeah, everybody, this is the bill that everyone has been looking about, looking at and wanting to talk about. This is the jacuzzi. And, a, and, and uh, Anthony, how, what size sleeper is this? What, what size? It's a 168. 168. It's a 168. And and look at all the room that we got, guys. This it's 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 plenty of room here. <laughs> yeah, what, what we lost down here, we gained in height. Ah, okay. Because it gave us more room in the cabinets up up top. Just, you know, typically this would be right here. So we've got an extra foot of room in the cabinets. Oh, okay. So, what? How would someone? Do you need a? You guys got a custom step ladder or something that's gonna go in here too to get up there to those <laughs> those top cabinets? <laughs> that's a Ron issue. <laughs> <laughs> um, he and I talked about that. All jokes aside, um, Ron's gonna have to carry a step stool. He's he's probably six one, so he's not gonna be able to reach that either. Okay. He, he's gonna have to have a step stool, or when the bed's down, he can use the bed. Gotcha. Oh yeah, yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Okay, then Anthony, man, I, I appreciate you finally get we we finally got this wrapped up and you gave us a beautiful tour of everything. Yeah. I love the the mirrored backsplash. That that that's that's so cool. That uh, all the windows that you guys did a really really awesome job and man, you really coming out man with everything that you're putting out in front of everybody. So the Louisville Truck Show is coming up. So I know. Oh yeah. What you what it's gonna be a doozy what you're gonna bring down there, man, for your um your first kind of debut to talk about it on, on in, in public eye, right? Yes, sir. I've got one planned. Uh you and I I think talked about yesterday. Oh yeah. Um oh, I'm, yeah. I'm on a deadline crunch to get it done to to have it ready, but I think with uh CRS and Nationwide Chrome's help, um we're gonna make it happen. And guys, um, you're gonna love it. This is really gonna jump out at you too. Yeah, it's gonna be a sweet build. I mean, each truck's different. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not taking anything from one build to the next, taking any way, anything away from that owner. Each build's unique. Mm -hmm. uh, each build's different. It's built for that customer. Yep. Uh, Quinn, I got one more surprise for you. All right. Check out it right here in the shower. It's going around the corner there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> got blue LED lights. It's full body shower head. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow <laughs> unbelievable <Andy>. unbelievable man <laughs> you guys went all the way out with this and your creativity is starting to just blossom every moment in every inch of these sleepers so Anthony it, we're going to see you down there at the, do you, is this coming down to Louisville do you know he wants to be there Oh, okay. um, he has mentioned to me that he's going to be at the truck show. It won't be part of the ARI booth, Okay. but he said he's going to be at the truck show this year. Well, I tell you what, we're going to look at this a little bit more and um, take some shots of it. And then we're going to move outside and uh, Anthony pulled us out and we're going to do the walk around on the outside. So be, we'll be right back, everybody. for the tour is at this point is there anyone that you would like to thank for everything Quinn first I would like to thank Ron Brogan yes the customer yes um, for allowing me the opportunity to help him build his dream mm -hmm. um, that means a lot to me with him trusting me with with this truck um, you know and like I've said before it's not just a me it's it's a team effort yes production down to engineering to to the owners i mean the owners have to okay me to do what i'm doing they mm -hmm. have to they have to agree to it because they're they're putting their name on it as well with ari yes um all the way to dom with his painting man they did a phenomenal job 
And, you know, last week we mentioned Nationwide Chrome. Yes. Pete, Pete and I yes. are coming pretty close. <laughs> um, Pete and his crew's awesome. I mean, you know, Dom and I was talking yesterday. Uh, you can be great at one thing, mm -hmm. but you can't be great at all of them. So Absolutely. we've got myself, Dom, Pete, production, working together as one great team. Yes. Making stuff happen. And you are indeed making it happen. And my hat is off to you and your team. And you ready to show me the outside of this bad boy? Yeah, Quinn. Come on, Come let's on, go. Buddy. Let's, let's go. check it out. Well, guys, this is it. You've been waiting to see this. what this bad boy looks like, the Buffalo Bills, Peterbilt. We finally get a chance to see it, complete it. And guys, here we are. Take a look at this. Oh my goodness, Anthony. Once again, man, we finally get a chance to see her out in the open. Yes, sir. And it is absolutely stunning. It is. It's a beautiful truck. I mean, this is an absolute marvel. And we got Dominique that's going to step in here and we're going to uh, talk to Dominique a little bit about mm -hmm. everything that went on with this. What's happening, Dominique? How you doing? Man, once again. <laughs> Beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. It's exciting to see it uh, finally done. <laughs> it is. It, it's been a uh, it's been a work in progress for a while, but man, is it worth it? It is absolutely worth it. And guys, we're sitting down here. It's January, and we got lucky enough that we don't have a whole lot of snow down here. <laughs> but uh, we're going to wrap this up real quick. We're gonna look on the outside of this, but first, Dominique, it was a lot of people involved in this, and um, I want to take gotta this opportunity. Props. Yeah, I, I got to give give them an opportunity to be recognized. Tell so, us what all went into this. Of course, you know, I got to thank my team that, that works with me at CRS Custom and the amazing painters that we have and the, the, the crew that, that put this paint job together. Yes. It, it, it looks great. Absolutely. Um, road skins for the graphics and the design. Uh, nationwide Chrome Custom with all the Chrome work that went in this thing. I mean, there's plenty of that. Car guys, automotive detailing. Yep. Um, and they're not so just automotive anymore. <laughs> uh, for the ceramic coating and correction, cab and the entire truck, stainless and the whole nine. And then of course, Auto Obsessions, we got the ground effects, cameras, and uh, they, they just did a really good job on this one. And they did indeed. Proved themselves, man. And Anthony, always hats off to ARI for giving us the opportunity to come down and spotlight this. And thank you for giving me this exclusive footage. Man, we're, this is going to rock the world when the people see it. Yes, it is. Absolutely. <laughs> we're ready for it. Oh, yeah. And we're not done yet. Oh, yeah, that's because right. We got some more goodies here, coming, right? The one person that's been missing in this whole footage so far has been the one and only owner of this truck, and we're going to get a chance. Outstanding. And, guys, that's going to be in the next episode. But right now, we're going to have uh, Anthony walk us around this bad boy and point out some of the goodies on it. So, Anthony, do your thing, man. <laughs> All right, Quinn. I mean, there's a lot to list on here, so I'll see if I miss anything. Okay. So, uh, uh, Don with CRS Customs did Underglow. Uh, it was Brad with Auto Obsessions, I apologize. Mm -hmm. um, blue LED lights. It has uh, a color wheel, so it yep. can be any color. We 
we've got blue and amber LEDs in the uh, vents all the way down to here with the, the, there's toolboxes behind here, generators behind this. Okay. Of course, the infamous Buffalo Bills from our customer <laughs> is his dream. Yes. Um, made access door so you can get to everything. All the way back here to a painted frame access door in the back where it's easy to work on and um, what exactly is that access door to so in there is uh, another water tank his inverter uh, all the electrical components um, a heater mm -hmm. uh, in case we need to work on it mm -hmm. or if he needs to service something it's easy to get to okay great fantastic job done by crs customs on the fender painting and wrapping there that is crazy i love that t-bar that, that was Pete, Nationwide Chrome, hub caps, lug nut covers. I mean, this thing's decked out with everything. We've got cameras that move so you can watch his height on the front and back. Um, <laughs> eventually, I have an awning up here, just okay. like an RV awning. He's at uh, football, tailgating, kick it out, cook some hot dogs, watch TV. <laughs> uh, all jokes aside with that, this is a working truck, guys. Yes. Uh, this customer, he, he runs freight. Um, he does trade shows, so he specialized. It is a working truck, so it's a working show truck. Yes. Um, yeah, we've got everything. The chrome stacks, chrome under the doors, the chrome chops. He went all chrome. To the very front. I got, I got, I got to point this out. These guys did a great job of this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> they had the buffaloes coming in small and running out and getting bigger. When I first heard about this, I'm like, yeah, I don't know if that's going to work. Because originally the design was the blue tears and the side of it. Mm -hmm. They did a fantastic job, Dom. Outstanding. Outstanding. Fantastic job. Thank you. And guys, that's it. This is the Buffalo Bills themed Peterbilt that we've been hearing so much about. And you see it for the first time right here on Elegance on 18 Wheels. We got the exclusive. Thanks everybody for tuning in. We're gonna look at this truck a little bit more and we'll be right back. What'd you think of the episode? It's pretty cool, huh? I told you it was gonna be a really cool episode. It was all the way we followed this truck. Like I said, it took us about a year to get all this done, but we finally got it done. We rolled out the door and it's on its way to the owner now and he's taking delivery of it. And Mr. Brogan is going to have <laughs> a celebrity time with this rig rolling down the road and probably to sign a few autographs, who knows? But I want to say thank you all for uh, tuning in and, and enjoying the episode. Let us know what you think about the episode in those comments and stuff below. So until next time, this is Quinn, Elegance and 18 Wheels Magazine. We'll see you next time. We've got a lot of stuff lined up for 2023. Don't miss out. Get on board. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. I'm Quinn McClinton, and you're watching Elegance on 18 Wheels Big Rig Spotlight.